Hey, John, I liken you. Do you liken me? Uh, I liken you very much, Roxanne. I would say my liken for you is on the rise. Ooh, <laughs> hey, I would say that uh, mine is not under the world, but over the moon? Yup. Yes. For people who haven't figured out what movie you're watching, they might be like, what the weird was that? Underworld, Rise of the Lycan! We are here. This is the third one. Yes. We watched the first two together. We did, and people were like, can't wait for you to get to this one. Because I hear sexy. Oh, I'm excited. Then. That's why I think that's they all think I watch movies like it. for. Is, is yeah. That. Well, I'm a lover of love, a shipper ship of ships. ships. That's right. But last one was a little steamy, so this might get even hotter and heavier, which might mean that we like it more, which might mean that you like in this video. Woo! Just like the video. I don't think you can actually like in a video. It's Halloween <laughs> month. If ever it was possible, it'd be now. That's very true. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification, all that stuff. Leave a comment. Let us know. Do you like in this one the best? Ha, ha, ha. I can't help it. It's the only pun it's I right have there. on this one. It it's is right, right there. there. If you want to be the super sexiest of all the sexy people, go over to Patreon, where our full-length reaction watch-alongs are. You sync up with your own copy, and that's how you be a leather-wearing, sexy Ooh. person. Uh, Everyone at the Patreon wears leather. That's true. Over on Patreon, that's where Greg and John cover several shows exclusively with reaction highlights and watch-alongs included. included. But now... We're going to go under world Ooh. rise of the lichens with you. Let's do it. I don't know what that voice is. It's your announcer voice. An underworld no, 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 no. rise of the lichens. Ron Joxy in the house, baby. Ron Joxy. To be moist, let's go. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so drippy and so moist. This movie. I actually get that sense. Yeah, I almost <laughs> came in with wet hair just to be in character, but I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll spare you guys. I have enough gel in my hair that it's almost wet. Good. <laughs> You're here for the both of us. <laughs> You're welcome. I wonder if this has the same cast. I bet it would. I mean, I hope it does. <laughs> It'd be weird if they just recast everybody right now. Well, we're going. I think we're prequeling. But if that's true, we might not time. have your boy. Oof. Oh. No Grey's oh. Anatomy boy? Uh-oh. Scott Speedman? Yeah, there's no way we have him. Two decades had passed since the creation of both species. The war had begun. Okay. Victor increased his army, creating a legion of vampires to protect them from the very first clan of werewolves, unable to take human form ever again. Yes. Yeah, we've heard about them. Learned about these guys last time. Until he was born. <laughs> Oh. oh, look at the little baby. Oh! Lucian. Yes, it's my boy. <laughs> yeah, we love as him. A, as a boy. As a, as a very young boy. Wow. And although every fiber of Victor's soul warned him to slay this child. My man is out here, you know. Like, that's, that's a, a, a real actor. That's a real ass baby. <laughs> yes, that is an actor. That's a thespian right there. <laughs> like, do they publish his name? They must. He possessed a strength and focus that the ones before him did not. Oh. Get a sad card for that, baby cry? Yeah. That's dialogue. Oh, yeah. It's giving Mowgli. A little bit, yeah. If Mowgli learned from one kind of animal. Ah! <laughs> Shall we make more? Of him? Like him, Lucian will always be the first of the breed. The first of the lichen. Oh. Patient zero. They do a good job with their eyes. I mean, that's the one tempting thing about being a vampire. It's cool eyes. Taking advantage of the child's thirst. There's so many things. against him as he was forced to feed on humans. Make this guy eat people. Oh. Oh, yeah. I wonder what the werewolf transformations are going to be like this movie. He created a new race of immortals, lichens. Werewolf, but also human. More human than human. This new breed could be harnessed, enslaved to guard them in the daylight hours of their masters. Whoa. You could be one of these guards because the ponytail. Oh, you really think so? I'm with you. Oh, they got a kind of werewolf for everything. 
Well, the Rise of Skywalker. Yes. Oh, oh wait, different movie. Lucian oh. Skywalker is going to be his name by the end of the movie. Werewolves have killed their slaves. Humans upset. Tannis, please take a note of what pain that brings me. Tannis. Have I not increased our holdings tenfold since Marcus and Amelia took their sleep? We will deal with the wolves as we always have. Props to Bill Nighy for always showing up. I was just <laughs> thinking about what a legend he is. Yeah. I want to watch Love Actually after this. Yes, double feature. Lichens, actually, are all around us. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I Whoa. feel them in my fingers. I feel blood in my, my toes. Nose. <laughs> <laughs> this is wicked. Ooh. This already looks better than the first two. Technology. <laughs> it's technology. Innovate a difference. Ooh. Woof. Yeah. Victor doesn't mess around, bro. Nope. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that was sick. Wicked. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. So close. Damn, dude. Oh, Rona Mitre. Have you nothing better to do, blacksmith, than play with weapons of war? At least make yourself useful. What? Does it burden your heart to kill your own kind? Not at all. Yeah, that's cool. They're mindless beasts, my lord. No brethren of mine. Really? Oh. Father. That's sad. Dear dear. Wait, how do we know Sonia? The actress? Oh, she's been in a bunch of stuff. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure what the best touchstone would be. I've seen her a thousand times. I just can't. She's in like it. Hollow Man. She was in uh, The Practice for a little while. The show. Yeah. I watched that. My pops worked on that. I told you to stay within these walls. You risk too much for a father to ignore. You and why, father, is my risk any greater than theirs? They are not my daughters. I do not care about them. Do you remember what he did to Sonia? Hmm. Wait. What he did to his daughter. Oh, that, that's dang. her, right? That's right. Oh my God! Without the loyalty between us, we are no better than the beasts at our door. I'm devastated right now. Maybe we'll change the past. <sighs> that is the sexiest Michael Sheen. It really is. On every timeline. It really is. Oh my. God. God, I'm so glad he's back. I want to watch him and Sonya get it on like Donkey Kong. Forget the plot and the world building. Let's just, just make this uh, an adult film. I can. Ilias FM, you know? Ilias FM? I love you so effing much. Ah. <laughs> That's close. He's a good guy. I said that's enough. So says the master's dog. Hmm? You will not always be his favorite. I want you for I will be there. Let us hope so. Oh, excited to watch him take your head off. Although I have a feeling probably all the lichens are going to get to kill him together. We are under attack. Six times in half as many weeks, William's kind have reached our very walls. Just say six times in three weeks. <laughs> 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 Got to make it poetic, man. And how would you project strength? Our death dealers patrol the night, so our daylight guards can patrol the day. Lycans patrol outside the walls. Have, have you lost your mind? <laughs> we can create a privileged class of lichens, greater rations, finer quarters, and put them under the hand of one we trust. And then they can lord over all the lichens below them. The one who saved your daughter's life today. How messed up are rich people? I think we should hear her thoughts in this matter. Don't, they're the best people, Roxy. They're the people we should emulate. He's like, no, no, it's not you just anyone. It's the privileged ones. Yeah. Bro, what? 
It would be gratifying to be able to reassure the nobles when they arrive tomorrow that we have their interests at heart. <laughs> yes, of course, the nobles. We must coddle the nobles. <laughs> Lucian is a smoke. Yeah, boy. And so is Sonya. It's all I'm thinking about. Come on, Moses. Lead your people to freedom. This movie is for the horn dogs, and I <laughs> love that for us. It's all franchises for the horn dogs. <laughs> for sure. It's the best of both worlds. You get cool horror sci-fi world building, and you get sexy, sweaty people. <laughs> Long hair. Yeah, it's just like, why is Lucian so much sec uh, sweatier than everybody else and <laughs> sexier? They come hand in hand. For the people. <laughs> so the people. They market tested this and they're like, we need more glycerin on this guy. <laughs> glycerin. I do feel like there's very specific sound design on this third movie that I'm really enjoying. Yeah. It feels different than the first two. Well, I like being kind of all set in this Dark Ages period of the, the lineage. Like the cyber, as I said before, I think like the cyberpunk stuff is still super cool, but I I love going to the past with this franchise. He's gonna end up dead. Yes, in this movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, I knew it. Oh, there's something else I know know her from. Yeah, it'll <laughs> hit me. She's in that apocalypse movie by the guy who did the Descent. Yes. Is he biting her hair? Slow-mo close-up lovemaking scene. Stop going to black and just stay on them. This reminds me of the the love scene in 300. I don't prefer the fade to black over and over again. Give me the action. Yeah, man. Evolute. Wowie. Okay, I mean, that was a good shot. That's really cool. I like cool. that shot. They're very smiley. Yeah, they're experiencing ecstasy for the first time. Oh, you think this is the first time? No. They're they're sneaking something beautiful under the watchful eye of tyranny. If that's the only time we see it this movie, I'm gonna be disappointed. Well, and especially after evolution like went pretty hard on like the look at all the body. <laughs> Sonia, if I were to leave from here, would you come with me? Come with me now. She looks like Minnie Driver. Yeah, definitely. Oh, good call. They would hunt you down and they would mark you like all the others. Not if I could remove this. Look, I made it. Oh. Lucian promised me he won't use it. Is that your answer then? You will not come. So you want me to stay here for you? He looks like Rob Zombie circa 2003. <laughs> the educated horses era. <laughs> and I will leave this place, but I can never be without you now. I can never be without her because it's romantic AF. Yeah, bro. I'm with you. Make out, make out. Don't keep fading to black, bro. Yeah, show us the goods. The second we get the kiss and it comes to the black, it just fades, it just goes into the darkness. Come on, baby, light my fire. Your father has ordered you to stay behind. I intend to see our guests safely through the gate. Your father is ruler of the covenant. So he keeps reminding me. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Careful, blacksmith. Lest your eyes betray your secret. Oh, you got goo goo eyes. Forma! Woof. <laughs> You can mm. smell them? Yeah. Get your men out there, now! <laughs> Down, boy, your leech is too tight. There's too many of them. They'll be massacred! Uh. Ooh, let's go! <laughs> they weren't. Oh! Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, wow! <laughs> Damn! Oh, ho, ho, it's my dude! Ooh. With the crazy deep voice. Are these the nobles? They don't seem like I know. nobles, yeah. 
And I mean, you know, you got all these people sacked up too. <laughs> like. Oh, wow. Well, they upped the carnage a little bit. No, oh save my god. Her. Well, we know she's going to be okay because her dad kills her. Don't remind me. <laughs> Just want to bask in their mutual beauty. Oh! Red Sonia. Yep. The origin story. <laughs> Yeah. Woof. <laughs> Is he gonna bite Kevin Grievous at some point? They're gonna try to kill him. Oh yeah, his face is a different shape and everything. Damn. You will be our king. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, guys. No. That's so tragic, like, to be indoctrinated to massacre your own. Am I not master of this house? No. Oh, bad dog. Your days of plush living are over, slave. Ooh. I wonder if Bill Nighy became friends with Kevin Grievous, because I think he's in, like, I Frankenstein 2 oh. <laughs> or something like that. What happened to the nobles? Hurry, moving the color! Not so noble no more. I love how there are so many like opulent, fashionable costumes in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gave you your life. You gave me chains. You cannot have one without the other. You cannot have one what without the other? One life without my chains. daughter without one my chains. No, not about the daughter. I told you I'd be there when you fell. What are they gonna do? Beat him? Oh yeah, they're gonna go biblical on him. <laughs> Who's the wrong girl? Just another not Julia Stiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 This could stir up the others. Let them stir. Do you fear them? Believe me, it will be worse if we do not punish them. You would trust them outside the walls. We cannot even trust them inside. Oh. That's 21. Continue. 21 of how many? You know, just until he feels like it's enough. Wow! <laughs> 21 out of a, of a lot. Stay away from him. Or they'll punish you too. This is the slaves of the nobles? Oh, Kevin Grievous guy's sympathetic. Have you no gratitude for the one who saved your daughter's life? I am a washwoman. <laughs> That he lives shows the breadth of my magnanimity. Were it any other circumstances, I would have had him fed in pieces to his own kind. Magnanimity. He will remain in prison. A cautionary tale. Janosch and the other nobles will soon arrive. Your presence is expected. Yeah. The nobles? Did, this wasn't even the nobles that came? This is the first <laughs> wave. They probably know. You know what? They probably are like, hey, you know, shit's probably going to go down when we get there. We should send some peasants <laughs> ahead of time. Are you afraid of me? Yes. Well, do not be. I will not bite. I am a good boy. You are like them. No. The spawn of William. Pure bloods, if you will. I saw you. They obeyed you. Yes, they did. That is wild. He must be wondering about that. Oh, you should not be here. I had to. I cannot remain here. I have to leave this place. Well, my father will be watching you now more than ever. Yeah, what about your death dealer? Is there none that you can trust? Tannis cannot be trusted. No, Tannis, he knows about us. God damn it. F and Tannis. Tannis always make, mixing things up, shaking it up. He's got the tea. All right, guys, what do you got? These are the nobles? Yep. Mankind's finest. I like that they brought it in silver. Do you not own the largest silver mine in these lands? It has been overrun, my lord. Our workers, infected, turned to beasts. And whose fault is that? And have learned of the deaths of Baron Kovasher and his family. The wolves are at your door. But you cannot so much as protect your own house. I die in oh. two seconds. This place is cursed, and the devils that have made our land. Oh yeah. Unhand me, 
suddenly. Oh, poor choice of words, my guy. Ow. Come get your slop. There's always been evil people. Power corrupts. Is this what you want to be their entertainment, their playthings, and then fighting amongst ourselves? Is this what you want? Mm. Oh. We do have a choice. We can be slaves, or we can be lycans. Yes. I would follow him. Yeah, man. And for the ideas, not just because he's sexy. There are some difficult decisions ahead. I would like your help with one of them. Of course, Father. We need to redo Ooh. the drapes in this atrium. I think she didn't know how to get away with murder. We must promote another Lycan in his place. Perhaps Georg or Thrasos. I will consider them strong. And then take credit for them when I decide. You, my child, most precious thing in my heart. You have no heart. Is this a device meant to control? It's a ring cam. <laughs> yeah. Like, does it also have blades and explode like before? <laughs> GPS tracker. Oh. What have you told my father? Would your father welcome the man who brought him news that his beloved daughter was consorting with a lichen? He isn't well known for his gratitude. <laughs> I mean, sure he is. He, he let uh, Lucian live in chains. Yeah. To show the Good breadth time. of his uh, yeah gratitude. Can you keep a secret? Ooh. I will need something in return. I love her. Yeah, she's a badass. Celine, also great, but very much enjoying Sonia. God, everything in this world is drippy moist. How weird is it to not have the star of Underworld? <laughs> I know. Underworld 3, right? Yeah. You're right. He will help us in exchange for a seat on the council. Are your father knows nothing. I'm sure of it. Oh, Sonia. I'm no. not sure of it. My father will have you killed tomorrow after the humans are turned. You must leave at sunrise. The best chance you have is when Victor and the Death Dealers sleep. This plan works. I'll meet you in three days' time after the sun sets. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm rooting so hard for these two. Me, even too. I know it's doomed. I know. <laughs> I know. It's like an epic. This is some just an epic, epic love story. It's like in Romeo and Vamp Juliet. But it's not lust. It's love. What don't you understand? Might be. Might be. Might be. I just don't know what love is, man. My yeah. key. Consider it a parting gift. I knew I kind of sort of liked a little bit of you, Tannis. <laughs> He's going to end up dead. In this movie. That's right. In this movie, they're going to kill him. And he comes back to life. He's never going to come back in the franchise ever again. How would you feel if this movie had come out first? You know, I don't know. Like, I'm really liking this, and I can also very much see why people were so excited in the comments. Yeah. But I don't know. Do you need what came before to really no. drive it home? No. No. Do you not realize this is a gift I am giving you? It's a curse! Yeah, you don't even like these people, man. Oh, they're having him turn. At sunrise, I leave this place. And anyone willing to take the risk may follow me. There is a new life waiting beyond these walls, my friend. And you can be a part of it. One of us. One of us. One, One of, of us. us. Full moon, baby. It's always a full moon when you need it. That's right, man. There were a lot more of them back then. Yeah. Is it half full or? Half empty. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's what you get. I'm friends with the monster that's on my beer. <laughs> what a Great shot. transition back. God. Yes, I Hell's, am so with yeah, you, Lucian. Man. Anywhere you want to go, bro. How dare us ever have doubted him. I know. I feel so terrible about my attitude during the first movie before I knew the truth. The truth will set you free. It's true. They all still have their cha their chokers on, right? I think so. Except for Lucian. Let's hope that key works on every single one. I don't think it does. Oh, what God. do you think that um, Sonya's going to think of this? Because I don't think she realized he was going to set everybody free. I think, I mean, yeah, I think she's going to be conf conflicted, oh, no. but understanding, but also it's going to be a mess. <laughs> oh, no. She's not going to be able to get out in three days. Be not clumsy. <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa! Keep moving! Keep moving! Friggin' 
spears. Oh my god, they're having to like duck under them. Just once in this life, I want to fire one of those gigantic crossbows. Ooh! <laughs> Jeez! Oh, that's rough. There's nothing they could do. My lord, Lucian is escaping. Shit is going down in the courtyard, my lord. Don't vampires have a good sense of hearing, too? Yeah. Like, did he not know anything was up? He was listening to other things at the time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Into the light. Yes. Always land on your feet. How many of them got out? <sighs> you know, stand there in the sun just to make a point. <laughs> Where is the key I gave you for this? I locked it in the armory myself. How then is it open? I have no idea. Kill it. This is his daughter. Oh. Oof. Check the armory. There has to be an explanation. Interesting. Did not all make it out. I will not leave our brothers to rot back there. So we have no weapons. The noble who brought you here, can you lead us back to his estate? Yes. Gotta have a blacksmithing montage. Make some weapons. Oh, yeah. Let's get some swords in here. But, like, you guys are the weapons, too. You gotta get those things off your necks. It's true. Oh, they, but they don't have them yet. It has to be here. He must have made another one. Only almost was willing to kill you. Any man who fights with me shall have his freedom and immortality. Oh, yeah. Everyone who wants to become a lichen, form a line over here. There are other estates to the west of here. I want you to go there, see how many will join us. I will meet you back here in two Rise. days' time. Rise of the lichens. Two days' time. At any hour? <laughs> yeah, just roughly two days. <laughs> just, just, just wait. Go by just the sun. Chill. Be on this rock in two days' time. Cursed wind howls. Is it her? No. What is... Oh. What? What? Oh, oh no, that's just him. You yeah. thought it was her? I thought it was her. Yeah, yeah I did too at you first. You got me excited. They both have very pretty hair. It's true. Oh, oh he found all of the... The original ones. Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. He's like, do I bring them with me? <laughs> nice alien shot. Did you help him escape? Of course not. He is right. Do you leave me no choice? Yeah, let's blood <laughs> memories. Anyway. Ugh. Love you. You have been trying to more than anything. She does not leave this room. She's gonna let him have to let her hair down now so that Lucian can climb up. Like, did she forget that he could bite her neck and now or just think he would never do that? Yeah, yeah I think she just made the play on like, yeah. Yeah, hey, he won't do it to me. <laughs> Has there been any sign of Sonia? She is deceived. You should lead them here. Death dealers will undoubtedly be on the hunt, and they will eventually find us, but not by her doing. Attitudes like yours leads to conflicts like this in the first place. Yup. You need to bring your pet back. Thank you, Coleman. The obvious escape. <laughs> I do not need to lift a finger. Lucian will return of his own free will. No shit, Sherlock. Sonia has been arrested. He knows about the two of you. I thought you should know. Did you do that of your own volition? I don't know. Out of respect for Sonia? I thought you should know. Do you think I look more like a wolf or a vampire? Vampire. But you make a good wolf. <laughs> Everyone waits in anguish. God, he is so sexy. How did how they... I know. It's not fair. I've never seen Michael Sheen in this, this kind of thing. Yeah, like what is the, like what do we remember? Did he burn his daughter into the sun? Yeah, is she tied to that pyre uh, and yeah, then yeah. they let the sunlight in. It's just fascinating to me. It just feels like a whole other Michael Sheen from any other role I've seen. I'm so with you. I know. I, I was I was stuck on it for a minute too. Like, how did this happen? How did I miss this? And then so how long? after this did they not continue to cast him as like sexy god? <laughs> You're right. Yes. But Lucian, you were free. Not without you. 
We have to go now. No, no, don't open that door. Oh, it was open. <laughs> <laughs> don't go through that door. It's okay. Sometimes it's so dark, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Your daughter has escaped. Oh, of course she <laughs> What would you do in her position, man? What was man? he holding? This little trinket it had a face on it. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, let's get that heavy rain going. This is so sad because just let them be in love. They'll never let them live, laugh, or love. Ooh. Yeah, She's sick. let's go. At the very end of this movie, that this has to we have to flash forward to see Kate Beckinsale, right? I would imagine. Yeah. But you never know. I mean. Oh, ooh, the, back, the back of the neck. I haven't seen that I haven't before. Either. Would your head go forward? I guess so. How dare you raise your hand to me? I do not want this. I am your father. I am your daddy. Nice hops, man. I think you can defeat me. I don't want to defeat you. I just you. want to be with my boo. Killing me won't save your precious life. Please call up your men for the sake of your grandchild. Ooh. Oh. Let's go. That thing inside you is a monstrosity. Oh no, oh no. Whoa. Remove him. What is she gonna do right now? Oh boy. Where are all the rest of them? Yeah, back at camp, I guess. No. You think he rode solo? None of the lichens came to have his back? What are you crazy? Where they got I failed you. The choices I made have led me here. You said yourself there are risks that you were willing to take for me. I like her a lot. Yeah, I haven't seen too. her be like a lead to this extent. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Silva. I want Rise of the Lake and straight up come in and rip shit up. You never know, there's still time. You have killed your own kind. Punishment for these crimes is death. Would you be saying the same thing if it was a dude council member and Lucian was a girl? I. I hate that I. bitch. <laughs> I. I. She'll die. I. Take her to the chamber. Like, you know it's coming, but still. Ugh. Heartless. Soulless. Come on, man. Open your dead old heart. Imagine how creepy it would be to bite somebody and see your kid having sex with somebody. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a snack. <laughs> no! <sighs> How many times has my man's been whipped in this movie? Ah. Oh. Please be the lichens. Oh, it's the sun. Yeah. Opening the skylight. I love you. Oh. And I love you. This is torture. This is actual torture. I so badly want them to make it. Your face will not be here when this is over, will it? She said your face will not be here when it's over, will it? Goodbye, my love. Oh. What does that mean? His face will be. She's not going to see him on the other side. Ugh. Uh. Oh, damn. I like this part three and we're still giving it our all, you I know? I mean, th that was like truly the worst thing that we've seen happen yet, I feel like, to make him watch that. And just like the amount of anguish, like it's, it's tangible. What a sick bat. Yeah. I hate him. See, it's well done because you know it's coming and you're just hoping against all hope that some kind of random divergence will change the timeline. <laughs> I guess the question is now, how does Lucian get out? Is that what he gives to Kate Beckinsale? I think so. Becomes part of the mechanism that her father's building, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Damn. If only you could have hulked out earlier. Nope. Oh, he grabbed it. No, it's the necklace he had. Wowie. Oh. Woo 
That werewolf boy, that effect is lovely. I feel like the other wolves are going to come help him. Yeah, not the lichens the, are about to rise. But not just the people lichens, the lichen lichens. The original yeah. ones, yeah. So that necklace, I feel like, did Lucian have it? And that's where they got it from his dead body, right? Because there are two part of, the of key. them. Yeah, because yeah. he's got Sorry. the one. No, well, he just took it from, Lucian just took it. Yes, you can feel him in your bones. <laughs> Can't tell if it's day for night or not. <laughs> if what? The exterior shot is if it's day for night or not. It uh, kind of looks uh, like uh, it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There's so many of them. Yeah. Let's go. Damn. I just wish they had come a little earlier. I know, right? Might have saved your girl at that point. I almost feel if they ha were hindered by the fact that we've already seen that core moment of this movie. They're like, well, we can't have them come and break it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like, too, the building of their relationship yeah, to that support too. him being in the first one and being, like, you know, one of his close... Yeah. You know, close. He also just has the best voice in the planet. Oh, yeah. Damn. Uh, just passing on that one key, slowly but surely. Key of truth will set you free. Woof. <laughs> nice little zoom. I wish that we could see Lucian kill Victor right now. I know, right? I wish that I could kill Victor right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Think of how many of our favorite characters might be spared. Come on! What, are you going to duck into the hole in the floor? Going to jump in the grate? Remember, Victor thought Lucian was dead. Oh my god, dude. Come on, man. Coward. Fight like a ruler. What's gonna happen here? Oh, those are the other two who are asleep. What did you say? Is that Marcus and uh, and the other one who are asleep? You defiled my daughter. I loved her! Oh. You can- uh, Is that... what, Marcus? The two, um, you know- Big old coffin, you know, mechanized things that Tannis oh. is escaping with. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wow. Right through the chains. Ooh, son, son. Ah. Come on, dude. You're so close. Change the timeline. I should have crushed you under my heel the day you were born. Yes, you should have. <laughs> oh! Remember, he was put to sleep, so maybe that this is how. I guess, yeah. Is this special water? Is this Lazarus pit? Rajah Ghoul is going to come get him. Yes. <laughs> and it's like he's not ridiculously ripped, but it's just enough, man. That's how I like it. Guy should be in a grunge music video right now. What's happening out here? He's looking upon his new kingdom. This is just the beginning. <laughs> yes, it is. Damn. Fast forward, do you think, or no? Yes or no? I don't. Yes or no? I don't think so. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, flash forward. Oh. Witty Jack. Of course. Not even going to show us how it happened. Oh, damn you, Tannis. Yep, he's getting in the chamber. Oh, you're a good chaotic neutral. How about your beloved Dark Father? Oh, you got your flash forward. You, who reminded him so much of his precious Sonya. Of course. Lies. God, I wonder. Oh. Lies. Damn. Oh, snap. Patrick Totopoulos directed this. Who is that? He's, 
He's an effects guy. Danny McBride. Uh, the, the Danny McDan Danny McBride. McBride. Foot fist ways Danny McBride. Yes, Danny. Uh, Patrick Tsopoulos, yeah, he I think he did the effects for the first couple and uh and yeah, he was like one of the judges on face off and stuff. He's done a, a bunch of like production design and, and effects. So Len didn't do this one, so then she didn't do, like they were like, No, this is a couple thing only now. I wonder if maybe, I mean, he had like a story credit, which, you know, could certainly be just that like, oh, you know, you helped. Yeah, yeah, you you clearly laid foundation for what this is resting on top of. But Mm. um, but yeah, you got your flash forward, man. I guess that was the thing. I was like, I don't think they'll they'll do new footage. (laughs) No, I just thought that there would be like some kind of tie into the universe to remind people who kind of forgot that because I do feel like you and I have been watching these back to back relatively, you know, in in a few weeks time. But immediately you were like, oh, yeah, because you forget that we have heard the story from Lucian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think for some people who had been years since they heard that, probably they were like, oh, shit, that's right at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there are, you know, names and things to keep track of and, and, you know, various MacGuffins and aspects of the lore. That was very good. I can't believe that for a third movie, they kept us on our toes that way. Yeah. It was really different. Yeah. Coming at it from the Lycan perspective and already having known the outcome of the story and still being on our toes. Yeah. I thought this, for the most part, did really nicely to get around, you know, just the the, the troublesome aspect of making a prequel where you know part of the things that are going to happen, especially in this context where we've seen this traumatic event that is so... Uh, you know, close and personal to Lucian, you know, we've seen this flashback so many times and I thought they managed to, yeah, like make the lead up to that and make all the different circumstances uh, just, yeah, sing to the point where there was still suspense and I was still really invested even though, yeah, you know, certain things are going to happen. I, th- I think the only thing, uh, and, I'll, and I'll give them a, a pass because it's so late on in the movie, but, you know, like... He does kind of, we get to have our cake and eat it too, and then he kills uh, Victor, but he doesn't doesn't really kill kill Victor, and we're like, how did he survive that? You know, I guess he just didn't kill him enough. (laughs) Because he's the vamp of all vamps, you know? Like I I think that that I'll definitely give them that one. He's got special juju. And they didn't even wait till the next movie to explain. They explained pretty quickly. Yeah, it's like you know he's going to get away. And we knew Tannis had also been um, excommunicated or whatever, but not killed. Yeah, and I almost wonder if maybe they went back and they were like, ah, can we put a little button on the end, like maybe test audiences were, were like, we, but is he dead? Yeah, I thought yeah. he's dead, he's alive. You know, so maybe they just added that back in. But This felt very much so big, more big budget than the other movies, I felt like, with all, I mean, just the amount of wolves in this. Yeah, like all the wolves, and even though you're not going a ton of different places, it still felt like we really saw a lot of this castle compound that the vampires are in and the outdoors and this, of it yeah the rolling the surrounding hills. areas and it makes sense why we wouldn't span too far beyond that but we still get like the lichen caves and all that stuff and there's all this rain and like the action the gore effects and everything like you know this this isn't quite as pulpy in just pound for pound flesh and blood as the previous I feel like especially evolution i feel like evolution kind of upped the the ante in terms of like let's get some real gore gags and let's get some steamy sexy scenes in here um whereas this you know i think made certainly good on all those aspects but did uh more with just like the sheer intensity and desperation of the context of the situation you know? how, how do you feel about sonia i like sonia a lot like i i loved the two of them i liked her character a bunch i almost wonder Especially at the end there, because they remind you of like, you know, oh, Celine, you remind him so much of his Sonia. And I'm like, did she audition to be Celine and, you know, get really close? And then they were like, well, maybe down the line. Yeah, they <laughs> are similar. I got to see what I know her, whether. And I'm trying to think if she was, I can't fully recall if uh, she is the same actress in the flashbacks from the original movie or not. Did we um, see those flashbacks? We at least see flashes like, of like them the but they're face, filtered yeah, and yeah so i'm trying to remember if that was 
her or if, yeah, she's just obscured or something. Okay, but, so let but, me see. But she, I really liked her performance. She was in Supergirl, so definitely that. Yeah, she'd been in a million things, but yeah. was she it's a lot TV. in any of the things that I thought she was in? No. What's that? Literally none. There's an apocalypse movie that she did uh, with the guy who directed like Dog Soldiers and stuff like that that I can't remember the what name year of. What are you looking at? It's like the mid 2000s or something like this doomsday i think is the name of that movie. i'll tell you if i get there well none of the things I that i yet. thought she was at. doomsday yeah yeah i've never seen that no she's no, I thought Boston she's, legal in the practice i guess that's just where i know yeah. her from no she i thought her performance was really good like i, I really liked her presence i i thought like she was an alley g in the house hey okay but yeah, no, I thought that, I mean, you know, I love watching Kate Beckinsale in this, but I feel like this movie gives you sort of a greater opportunity to be a bit more intimate with a character in this position who is, even though she has some of that stoic, badass quality, she's like a little more emotive. And I thought just, yeah, the different flavors from like the badass, you know, warrior side of her character to the tender, you know, like you know, desperate lover side of her character, I thought uh, was great. And I loved her chemistry with uh, Michael Sheen. I thought she played well off of uh, uh, Bill Nighy as well. Like yeah. I, th I thought she was great. Like, I, I really loved her presence here. And it's cool because, again, like, again, no shade. Like, I really love watching Kate Beckinsale as Celine and in that context of the story. Um, but I think this is the one, like, the first two I enjoyed and they grew on me in reviewing them to put these videos up as I, you know, reviewing the footage and stuff like that. And this one I think is the one that most immediately has kind of, uh, you know, just like gripped and dazzled me. Yeah. You know, like this one. Yeah. I, I think you're right. It's like, it, it, it's, it feels a little higher budget or something, or there's something just like a little more thick about the production values. And it, it feels a little bit more rich to me in this, presentation I this guess. movie was the first one that's a true love story like the other ones the love elements are in them but i feel like that this start to finish was which is why i think you guys at home thought i would like it best and i did and i and i do think that it's shining a little bit of a a light on the fact that this is the dark ages yeah and they had a problem with a wolf and a vampire being together fast forward to where we are and there was a problem with the wolf and the vampire being together. And yeah. it's like times change, but bigots don't. <laughs> yeah. Even, like I really do feel like there's a direct, obviously like they're, they're, they're making a, a point about um, interracial relationships and marriages or just like two different people from two different backgrounds of any sort yeah. coming together. And I do think it's interesting to go back in time and see that much, um, vitriol and hate for the this couple to the point where you would kill your own daughter. And then we flash forward to when Kate Beckinsale um, is falling in love uh, and they come into the room and they find out that Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> Scott Speedman, <laughs> that he is a, uh, what are they, what's his name, Michael? Michael, yeah, is he's that, the hybrid. That Michael is a hybrid and it's how dare she be in love with him, you know? That's a horrible thing to do. Yeah. And that is all those years later and it's just... T the times some people just never get with the times yeah well and, and it's like you know here we come so close to having the hybrid born you know it's like your grandson and all that stuff and then that light is snuffed out we see it centuries down the line um yeah it's like i thought this tied together really nicely and i thought it like one thing i've appreciated about the movies across the board is like the first two have their all three of them have, you know, their, their fun world building and especially the first two have, you know, your your cyberpunk elements and stuff like that. But they all have that, you know, slight allegorical quality. And I think this one did it the most densely. But, yeah, it's like the first one you've got Celine waking up to, you know, this indoctrination, realizing like that the society she's grown up in and the truth that she's been, you know, sold is not the truth, is not, you know, uh, the actual, you know way it's not um as it seems and it's not you know for her protection it's based on oppression and and things like that and she has to realize like oh these people who i thought were you know the good guys and, and i thought i was on the right side of things now i have to wake up to that and mm -hmm. then you know you get that kind of further explored in the second movie and then here yeah it's like you know it's systematic oppression and slavery and all sorts of things and i thought that 
and and you know it's it's a sci-fi B movie in a lot of ways. It's a you know monster movie and stuff. So it's not like the wokest thing ever. But I thought that the way that they portrayed the struggle of the lichens and bothered to incorporate the peasant humans into that was kind of nice because I think in a lot of these allegories you'll get like. Um, you know, here's your your uh, special kind of character, whether it be like AI robots or it's werewolves or whatever it is, and and they're the sort of cipher for injustice and intolerance. And there are other groups that you know in history have you know been really subjected to that, and they're kind of fine. And everyone's only prejudiced against this one kind of magic thing. And I like that here, you know, you have that most focally on the lichens, but they bother to incorporate, you know, the human peasants into that too to kind of create this intersection of struggle and just kind of like a, the greater, grander scheme of like, oh yeah, there are lots of like weird allegiances and and you know political games being played, and yet the vampires clearly are kind of oppressing everyone around them for their own gain. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, you know, there's there's more meat on the bone than there needs to be and I think this one out of all of them, I think because it really threw itself into the desperate love story and just the struggle. Yeah, it just felt like kind of the richest of the three in terms of those things all coming together and me not going like me not being as as much like okay and now we're gonna kind of take a break from that stuff and we're gonna have b-movie fun like it kind of felt like this one was doing all of them all the time mm -hmm. yeah i hear you on that i i think that um you're you liked that they added in that more human element one of the things that i liked that they touched on that they haven't talked about that much in the other movies is the original beasts because we've talked we talked in other movies about how you know that that's they couldn't turn back yeah. um which I think it, always we had this judgment towards them and so does Lucian being like, yeah. I'm not like them. I'm not like them. But at the end of the day, those are the people who have your back. And also they and didn't choose And they instinctually know to follow yeah. you even though, they, yeah, they didn't choose and this they didn't life. Choose this they didn't choose this life. And I just, you. yeah. And I just think that it is, it was really interesting. I think a lot of times we all fight, we fight against our own people sometimes. And it's like, but I'm not like that. I'm not like that. And at the end of the day, it's like, but if those are the people who are in your corner, it's very hard. To, like, what makes you not like that? You, that fact that you were given the choice that they weren't, that you, the fact that you are able to actually turn back. Um, and he kind of had turned his back on his own at the beginning saying, it doesn't pain me to hurt them in any way. And it's like, oh, yeah. you know, and then by the end, it's like they but they are part of you. Yeah. It's like I thought maybe for a moment I thought that what they were telling me about like, oh, yeah, I'm the sophisticated version of this. I am, you know, the better version of this. I'm the one who's worthy to at least exist in some capacity, you know, among the civilized society. And and, and I, I like that, yeah, you, you have the vampires who clearly are just like any lichen. It's just in your nature. You know, you're, you're just a bad, feral thing. And so with, you know, the, yeah, the ones who are the originals who can't turn back or anything like that, I like having that flip side of like, well, there is some kind of instinctual order right. when they see... Lucian. And so like, yeah, it's like as much as you could say there's innate savagery, there's also some kind of innate community as well. Exactly. And if yeah. instead of just killing them, there had been any kind of effort to like reason or speak to or whatever, there might have been. The, it, clearly, they aren't just savages with no order, you yeah. know. So yeah. I did think that that was interesting, too. We had, in the other movies, I'd kind of written them off like, oh, that generation of them, they were just savage. Yeah. And it's like because that's what we're told. Yeah. Um, which is what Celine thinks, because that's what she's told, you know. So I do, I do think that going backwards made us go deeper into this lore, and then move, there's more of these, right? There's, I think there's like five or, or six fifth. in total. Yeah. yeah. So moving forward, I'm sure that just the more knowledge you have on this world, the cooler the the world is. Yeah, and I mean, I I think this this again does nicely to be like a fun, punchy experience on its own, but it also bolsters. The movies that came before you were asking like I, i'm i think the only thing that would 
you know, kind of be slighted by watching them, you know, having this one be the first one you watch is just you won't have that a uh, uh, big shoe drop for Celine in the first movie because you'll just kind of know what the nature of things is and you'll be waiting for her to catch up to it. Yeah, but, I like this order way better. I think this is so much smarter. Yeah, because it's like, you know, the first two can kind of draw you into the world and, and they're all fun, but the first two are a bit more, I think, prioritizing the fun scale maybe a little bit more than this and mm-hmm. like the badassness whereas this you know I yeah I just think had like a real nice balance and it did it like really straightforward really nifty it didn't feel too long didn't feel too short a yeah. lot of great actors across the board I like that they've been able it's always kind of impressive when they're able to maintain the longevity of like yeah people will keep coming back to be in these movies and and even though we're at part three of something that does have B movie to some degree in its DNA everyone's friggin giving it they're all like actors to the caliber and I grant this is earlier in time but like still like a Bill Nighy and a Michael Sheen and all these people don't have to be going up to 11 you know really selling the anguish but yeah they, they didn't they phone do. it in they just really really showed up yeah. do you know what my least favorite part of the movie is what's that try to take a guess the not super sexy sexy scene the cutting to black the <laughs> yeah, fading the to fades. black why did we you got... guys fade to black over and over you have an <sighs> R rating you had an R rating. Where are you fading to black over and over? If Patrick Totopoulos had just married Rona Mitra, it would be a totally different scene. That's what I'm saying. Because that's the thing is in the in evolution, yeah, you you have that like, ooh, we're drinking in every curve and we're suggesting a whole lot and it is steamy. And this one, yeah, it was like it's it's a little steamy. Yeah, but <laughs> show me show me the good. Show me the love. I just want it to, R. You got you have your R. R, matey. Yeah, this is is in the gore department, but yeah, this one I in know. a weird way felt less R rated than it the did. other two. <laughs> felt less R rated. You fade to Especially black. Especially in the second one. The second one feels the most R rated. I think. Is it time for us to fade to black? I think it's time for us to fade to black. Mm. Oh, this has been such a blast, though. I've, I know. I've really like. I've it's grown to love season. this franchise. Me too. And this one was a dunk. I didn't know that you and me that for I feel like for different reasons but similar reasons we just have, were underworld stands. Yeah, man, I'm a lover of love and a shipper of ships as well. And then you add the spooks and uh, you know the the a little bit of thought in there, a little bit of relevancy. Like you're doing more than you need to do, and I salute that. Ron Joxy. Ron Joxy. Oh, Dude. that was the best double high five. I don't even need to look at your elbows. Or you can't. If it's two. Because if it's two, how are you going to do it? Ooh. The back forth. And then I hit you in the face. Is there a special someone we need to give some love to? I think we're done for the month. <laughs> then I'm just going to give love to everybody at just home. Just love to all you just guys. Just love man. to everybody. Thank you guys. Happy spooky season or the end of spooky season or whatever season comes next. <laughs> Who knows what time Let's is go. anymore. go. All the Thanksgiving movies. Yes. Do this. I, I wanted to finish Underworld for Thanksgiving. It's very... Th- Family themed, yeah. family oriented, and it's built on a troubled history. You know, a difficult to rectify in modern times history based on a lot of dubious deeds, oppressions, uh, otherwise. Th- thematically, it's a fit, and fade to black. Thanks, rejects. <laughs>